Sir, are, I mean, are you really don't know that. He came to this country in 1962, right before the Cuban Missile Crisis, and obtained a green card. <laughs> yes, people who immigrated okay, to this so, country so Jim, can eventually. People who so Jim, as a factual question, through, Jim. Not through Ellis Jim, Island, as a factual, as Jim, as a factual have, question. Ways, do a, obtain a green card at some point. They do it through a lot of hard work. And yes, they may learn English as a second language later on in life. So, but, but this Jim, whole this whole notion of well, they could learn, you know, they have to learn English before they get to the United States. Are we just going to bring in people from Great Britain and Australia? Jim, as actually, I have to honestly say, I am shocked at your statement that you think that only people from Great Britain and Australia would know English. It's actually it reveals your cosmopolitan. Uh, bias to a shocking degree that in your mind, no, this is an amazing, this is an amazing moment. This is an amazing moment that you think only people from Great Britain or Australia would speak English is so insulting to millions of hardworking immigrants who do speak English from all over the world. Jim, have you honestly, Jim, have you honestly never met a, an immigrant from another country who speaks English outside of Great Britain and Australia? Is that your personal experience? Of course there are people who come But that's not what you said. And it shows, it shows your cosmopolitan bias. And I just want to say... It sounds like you're trying to engineer the and racial say, and ethnic flow of people into this country. Jim, yeah, that policy. is one of the most outrageous, insulting, ignorant, and foolish things you've ever said. And for you, that's still a really... The, the notion that you think that this is a racist bill is so wrong and so insulting. Jim, the reality is is that the foreign-born population into our country has quadrupled since 1970. That's a fact. It's been mostly driven by green card policy. Now, this bill allows for immediate nuclear family members to come into the country, much as they would today, and then it adds an additional point space system. The people who've been hurt the most, the people, have to be the people who've been, the people who've been, the people who've been, the people who've been hurt the most by the policy you're advocating, are what policy am I advocating? apparently just unfettered, uncontrolled migration. The people who've been hurt the most by the policy, the people who've been hurt the most by the policy that you're, the people who've been hurt the most by the policy you're advocating are immigrant workers and minority workers and African-American workers and Hispanic workers. And it has African no... African-American community, now you brought it up again. You said you wanted to have a conversation and not target. Is it going to be a target? This is now? what we want to do. Using the African-American community, are you going to target? I'm not trying to be funny. Right, and I know what you're saying, what you're saying is 100% correct. We want to help unemployed African-Americans in this country and unemployed workers of all backgrounds get jobs. And insinuations like Jim made trying to ascribe nefarious motives to a compassion immigration measure designed to help newcomers and current arrivals alike is wrong. And this is a positive, optimistic proposal that says 10 years, 20 years, 30 so years from now, 10 years, 20 right. years, 30 years from now, we want to have an immigration system that takes care of the people who are coming here and the people who are already living here by having standards, by having a real clear requirement that you be able to support yourself financially by making sure that employers can pay a living wage. And that's the right policy for our country, and it's the president's commitment to taking care of American workers. I apologize, Jim, if things got heated, but you make some pretty rough insinuations. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'll hand it over to Sarah. I think that went exactly as planned. I think that was what Sarah was hoping would happen. I think that. I think that was exactly what we were hoping to have happen.